In World War II, an infectious germ spread throughout a battalion could do just as much damage as a squadron of enemy tanks. A newly discovered antibiotic called sulfonilamide, nicknamed sulfa, was the perfect antidote to this. Troops carried a pouch of white sulfur powder to sprinkle on open wounds to ward off infection. Some were also issued with vials of sulfur tablets to prevent and treat dysentery. Sulfonilamide was so highly used within World War II that some argue it even played a role in helping the Allies win, especially by my grandfather, who during his service with the Allied Occupational Forces in Japan was treated with this same powder. So how does sulfonilamide work? Bacteria require para-aminobenzoic acid, known as PABA, in order to synthesize folic acid. Folic acid is an important metabolite needed to make nucleotides and many amino acids. Without it, cells would not be able to make DNA, RNA, and most proteins, and therefore grow. Sulfonilamide functions as an antibiotic by competitively inhibiting dihydropteroate synthetase, which is the enzyme that facilitates this PABA. Competitive inhibition occurs when the structural analogue, in this case, sulfonilamide, binds to the active site of the enzyme, preventing the binding of the substrate. Sulfonilamide is part of a sulfonamide antibacterial group. This organic compound consists of a sulfonide functional group attached to an aniline ring. The sulfonamide functional group is made up of a sulfonyl group, which is a sulf atom covalently bonded to two oxygen atoms, connected to an amine group. An amine group is a compound that contains a basic nitrogen atom with a lone pair of valence electrons, in this case connected to two hydrogen atoms. Due to the electronegativity of the nitrogen atom, the nitrogen-hydrogen bond possesses polarity with the partial negative charge situated on the nitrogen. Thus, most amine-containing compounds will have a dipole, which will facilitate Aquarius solubility via dipole-dipole interactions with water molecules, which will assist in oral absorption. The most important structural component of this molecule is, however, the aniline organic compound. Just like a PABA molecule, this component consists of six carbon atoms that are bonded together in a hexagonal planar ring, with alternating single and double bonds four of which are bonded to individual hydrogen atoms with two bonded to substituents, one being another amino group and one being the sulfonyl group. This component is where the molecule holds its structural similarity to P-aminobenzoic acid, allowing it to bind to the dihydropteroate synthetase, fulfilling its purpose as a competitive inhibitor and therefore antibiotic.